woman that could take your spot, man. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well, baby, I've been around hello everyone and welcome to my channel my name is janika i hope every wednesday is going extremely well mine is so we are jumping straight into the shower for today's shower routine i got a couple new products i want to show you all but i'm starting off with my first aid beauty facial cleanser and this is a little different i usually do my facial cleanser outside of the shower right before i get into the shower but today i figure i'm ready to just go ahead and get in the shower and i started off by just washing my face with this first aid beauty cleanser and then patting it off i was gonna say patting it dry but no it's still a little moist so i just pat the cleanser away and make sure i get behind my ears and on my neck as far as cleansing as well and then i finally y'all i finally got me some dr bronner's this is the unscented body wash and i'm also going to pair it with my african knit sponge because first of all this dr bronner's soap already lathers so well without the help of this African net sponge. But y'all, I just said, I'm only gonna cleanse once today because I can exfoliate and cleanse at the same time with my Dr. Brunner's all-in-one soap. So I just felt like I just got the best clean with this soap. Make sure you get under your arms, your back area, your stomach area, your neck, and then you wanna make your way down to your legs and you wanna make sure you clean your legs extremely well. Also, of course, get your feet and the bottoms of your feet. And after we finish cleansing it off, y'all, I'm so ready to show you all this lotion that I got that I finally become hip to. But I had to show y'all how happy I am about this dr bronner's i love it so far i'm definitely dr bronner's is up there with dove to me at this point dove and olay like dr bronner's is a necessity at this point so after i finish cleansing i move on to my feminine hygiene routine which is either using summer's eve or vh essentials wash so i'm using this summer's eve wash today because it's fragrance free and i feel like it'll go along well with my fragrance free dr bronner's body wash so i actually get under my arms and my bikini area and my backside area with my feminine hygiene wash and then before i get out the shower i'm going to introduce my first warm cashmere scent which is my perfume and i'm also going to try and put this on in the shower i got this tip from mckenna walker she was putting perfume on right before she got out the shower so i wanted to try it myself to see how it's gonna work and i feel like it's gonna pair well with my lotion that i can't wait to show y'all but before we get to the lotion we're gonna finish up our facial routine with one of these facial pads from first aid beauty it's kind of like a toner it pairs with the facial cleanser that I use while in the shower, and it helps just get the extra excess dirt, makeup, anything off of your face that you need to help with the extra clean. Make sure you get your neck as well. And I'm not doing any serum today, but I am gonna move on to a moisturizer. And this Paula's Choice moisturizer also comes with sunscreen included. And I hear often that it is so important to put sunscreen on. And y'all, I'm about to be in my 30s. I'm aging. I may have to start dealing with wrinkles soon, but I want to make sure I protect my skin. And one of the best things that you can do to protect your skin is to put sunscreen on. And after my moisturizer and sunscreen combo, I put on my vitamin E oil. I love this vitamin E oil because it adds that like glassy look to my face and my skincare routine. I see a lot of people ask where to get this oil from. I can't find it online. I can't find it on Amazon, Walmart, nothing. I just found it in a dollar store. Dollar Tree or Dollar General is my best suggestion. And then to make sure I get that extra moisture on my lips, I'm using my EOS lip oil. 
And then for the main event, the star of the show, honey. And then also my Vino, which is also the star of the show, because she's the oil. She gets she gets the glitter and the gloss skin popping. But I'm gonna mix these two together. But I had to get this lotion because it smells so freaking good. You all, this is vanilla cashmere, the EOS brand. I finally feel victim. Like I've been seeing this lotion on TikTok and YouTube. And I'm like, there's no way that this lotion can smell as good as these people trying to make it seem like it does. Y'all, I bullshit y'all not. I went to Target and I'm just like, you know, minding my business in Target. I usually have a list of things to get. And when I tell y'all, I just made my way to the lotion station, the area over there with the lotions and all that good stuff. I picked up my vino. And then I picked up this EOS lotion. My eye caught it in my peripheral vision. And I said, let me just go on here and smell it. When I tell y'all, I'm not even kidding. I don't even, I haven't had any contact with this brand, but that lotion is probably one of the best smells I've ever smelt. It has one of the best feelings I've ever felt. And it was only $7.99 at Target. Honestly, if I had to choose between Fenty Beauty and my EOS Vanilla Cashmere, I'm going to say Fenty Beauty is one because it's more expensive. But then that Vanilla Cashmere EOS lotion is a very, very close second. I definitely think you guys should try it. Don't don't get it all at one time and like, you know, save some for the rest of us. But that EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion, 110% recommend. You guys should try it. I promise. And to finish up my body care, skincare routine, shower routine, everything, brush my teeth, take a shot of Listerine. And I drink it from the bottle now because I don't share my Listerine. And then I grab my vanilla and argan oil spray deodorants. I'm just loving all the vanilla and cashmere going on. It's perfect for the current season. And I always make a weird face when I spray stuff on my body because it kind of sends me into a shock factor. But anyway, we're going to move on to our witch hazel. And we use a witch hazel and a baby wipe to neutralize any odor that may be coming from the backside. And then this is also something new I picked up from the real brand. This is a feminine mist that you spray like right on top of your vulva. And it's supposed to neutralize any smell that may be coming from your vaginal area. It's my first week using this mist. I'll give an update on it probably next week or within the next few weeks. But now I'm moving on to curling my hair and getting prepared for my day. So I try to show you guys a little bit of how I curl my hair. I do the same thing for like different sectioned parts of my hair. And I try to keep it curly, but this hair really doesn't hold curls well. So my curls fail within like 30 minutes. And I'm pretty much done, but before I move on, I just want to add my last little layer of perfume since I did just have my curling irons down. And I don't want to be smelling like I'm burning something. So this is the final look. And before I go, you all, I did tell you all that I was going to give an update on this pan oxal. And my body had a really bad reaction to this pan oxal. I don't know if it was this or the seasons changing or the fact that I'm on my cycle right now, but my body broke out so bad and I never have a body breakout, but I guess because this is so strong. There were dermatologists on here and on TikTok recommending you can use this to neutralize the smell in the bacteria if you have any for your underarms. It didn't neutralize any smell in my underarms. My underarms smelled and felt the exact same, but I guess this is for if you have very strong, very bad acne, but I don't really have bad acne with my skin and so if you don't have bad acne already i wouldn't suggest you get this because it honestly just made me it made my acne flare up and then as soon as i stopped using it my acne went away so panoxyl i won't be using it again but if you are someone with acne prone skin i definitely think you should try it out but probably consult your dermatologist before you do so Anyway, I took these pictures right after filming this video. I needed something to fill the space while I was just yapping my mouth. But feel free to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's in my description below if you want to see more of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.